Hi, this is Sridhar. The third one is the XML table. This is also used to retrieve data from the XML document. Previously, we have discussed about XML sequence and XML query to retrieve the data from the XML document. And similarly, we, uh, we can use XML table also. XML table is much simpler compared to these, the previous two. XML table, the basically the syntax is XML table of the X query. It contains the X path followed by the condition, either the X path alone or X path followed by the condition within the square brackets called the predicates, followed by the next one is passing XML column passing the XML column name. Column name contains data, passing the value and the next one is the columns. Which column you want to retrieve? What are the columns you want to retrieve from this XML column? For example, this is the XML column. This the XML column. Okay, run this example, run this uh, T underscore XML. This T underscore XML contains T XML underscore XML underscore call column na column value name and this column is having XML type data and this data I have copied here. So what are the columns you want to retrieve? You can explicitly mention those column names and the corresponding data types and the path to reach that column. You have to write all these things in the XML table syntax or in the XML table function. Basically this XML table operator is what it does. It will split the XML document in a single row. How many rows are there? Only one row. It will split the XML document in which is in single row into multiple rows in the result set. In the result and output, you will be having multiple rows. Whereas in the source, you will be having only single row. And the, we are passing the columns. What are the columns having this XML data? Simply we are passing the column. And the next one is a column columns. What are the columns you want to display it in the result? So what it does, basically the third line, it is used basically used to change the XML data into relational data. If you didn't do this, if you didn't write this statement, it will display the result in XML data itself. As we discussed in XML query. Let me go to the XML query. In the XML query, if you see the syntax, the first one is the X path or the X query, passing the column name. We are passing the column name and returning the content as it is. We are not changing the data type. We are not changing anything. We are not converting the XML data into relational data. Simply we are displaying the result. This is what we are doing in XML query. And that is the reason we are getting the output as in XML tag itself. That's why we are getting the output in XML tag itself. This was overridden in, this was not a happen, uh, happening in XML table. In XML table, the first one is the X query or the path or the condition inside the angle bra square brackets and the second one is the passing the XML column and the third one is the columns. What are the columns you want to display it in the result in re relational format? So columns followed by the new column name. Th what is the new column name? New column name is nothing but how you want to display it. That is okay. I will show you the new column name followed by the column type. What is the data type of this column? Either it may be varchar or date or number, anything. So the column type, data type, and followed by the path. How you will reach to this column? For example, here, how you will reach to this employee ID column? First, you have to traverse from row set to row and the child node of row is the employee ID. What are the child nodes available in this row? Employee ID, first name, last name, job ID, salary. These are the child nodes of this row. These are the child nodes for row. So you want to explicitly mention the path. What is the path you have to give? Path followed by, if you want to retrieve employee ID, then the path for this employee ID is 
what are the name present inside this angle bracket you have to same you have to mention in the path also here it is mentioned as employee id underscore id inside this angle bracket so same thing you have to display it here you have to write it here employee underscore id you should not change the case also you should not change anything while mentioning the path whereas here you can change it because this one it's displaying in the result you will be having you you can see the result same like that next one is the first name first name the data type is varchar2 and the path to reach this first name is row set slash row row set traverse from row set and inside row set it is row and inside row the first name so same like this you have to write it here row set and row you have already written in the xpath itself and inside row set and row first name is present first name is one of the child node of row so you, you have to write it in under the columns first name the corresponding data type and the path to reach this first name that is row set slash row and followed by the path is path is row and the job id same like this job id and you have to declare the, the data type also let me run this and everything you have given in the alias name as xt and you are selecting all the values by giving xt dot star got the result see if you see here you are getting the result in relational data format you are not getting the output in xml data format okay let me walk through to this select statement again once again xml table of the x path what is the x path given the x path is row set slash row and inside this row you are having all the details so simply you can give slash row set slash row and passing what what column you are passing xml call column name you are passing and followed by the columns what are the individual columns you want to display i want to display the employee id first name and job id columns alone from the xml call because xml call is having all the column names here in this xml call you will be having all the columns names all the column names so i out of this i want to display only x employee id first name and job id so i am simply specifying employee id first name and job id and the corresponding data types as varchar varchar varchar2 and how to reach to this employee id path is simply you can give employee id why simply we are giving employee id not row set slash row because row set slash row is already included in the x path itself so no need to mention mention it again slash row set slash row because already we are giving it in x path itself and we are giving the alias name as xt to all this and selecting the xt dot star in the select statement we got the result see if you see this here the name is employee underscore id first underscore name job underscore id everything you are getting it from this one so even if you want you can change it i'm simply changing this removing the underscore yeah see the column name got changed employee id first name job id we have removed the underscore but here you can't change the field xml nodes node names because this uh, node name should be similar should be exactly same to that of this one what are the node name given here employee underscore id first underscore name and job underscore id same thing you have to mention it here otherwise you will get error see for example i have removed this underscore symbol getting the output but if you see the employee id is null because employee without underscore id employee id is not present in this see searching for this employee without underscore id i am searching for this 
it's not there and that's the reason you are not getting the result next you can include the condition also in the x path i am writing the condition as i want to select the details that is the first name and job id details of the employee whose employee id equals employee id equals let me check whether it exists or not what say 116 116 i want to display the employee i want to display the first name and the job id of the employees whose job id whose employee id equals 116 so i am writing the condition inside the square bracket and giving this condition in the xml table itself that is xml table of slash row set slash row this is x path and followed by the condition condition is within the square brackets i am giving the condition employee id equals 116 and passing this xml call column name and what are the columns you want to display because here you will be getting all the xml elements all the nodes for example employee id first name last name job id and salary all the details will be you will be getting if you are simply specify passing xml dot call xml call so what are the columns you want to display i want to display only the first name and the job id so simply you are writing first name followed by the data type data type is varchar2 and the path to reach this first name what is the path to reach this first name x so row set row set inside the row set row and inside the row first name so simply i am giving it as first name because row set and row is already mentioned in the x path itself here itself so no need to rewrite it again in the x path path and the job job id the data database where care to and the path to reach to this job id is simply job id because row set and row it's already given executing this shelly pu clerk 116 employee id first name and job id is shelly and job id is pu clerk here i didn't include in double quotes so it's optional no need to include this new column name in in double quotes let me go to the next example the next one is i want to retrieve the results whose job id equals it prog but it prog is not here what is the job id job id pu clerk is there so i am re rewriting it as pu underscore clerk so i want to retrieve the first name and job id of all the employees whose job id equals pu underscore clerk i am writing in xml table xml table of the x path x path is row set slash row and the condition within the square bracket the condition is job id equals pu underscore clerk the second one is passing what we are passing the xml column the xml column will be having all the data not only the job id first name or job first name like that it has all the values employee name first name last name job id and salary all these values are present inside the xml call and out of this which column i want to display i want to display only the first name and job id so i am selecting only the first name and the job id and the first name data type is varchar2 job id varchar2 again and the path to reach this first name is row set slash row slash first name row set inside this row set row and inside this row first name so row set slash row slash first name since row set slash row is already mentioned in the x path no need to mention it again as i said earlier simply you can give first name and same like that simply you can give job id 
enclosing all these things and giving the alias name as xt and selecting the value xt dot star running this got the result all the five employees whose job id equals p underscore clerk i am including job id to verify the result otherwise no need to give this column next one we can do the arithmetic manipulation also that is uh, the salary whose salary is uh, say less than 5000 less than or equal to 5000 I want to display whose salary is less than or equal to 5000 what are the columns I want to display I want to display the first name and the salary so writing the table select statement xml table of row set slash row within the square bracket i am writing the condition salary is less than or equal to 5000 and the second one is passing the column names having this xml type data type passing xml type data type is present in the xml call table xml call column name sorry and the third one is the columns what are the columns you want to display the columns i want to display is first name and the salary so writing new column name first name followed by the data type and the path to reach this first name what is the path first name is present inside row set slash row slash first name since row set and row is already written here simply i am writing first name same like that salary and giving the alias name as xt and selecting this xt dot star so xt dot star means we will be getting the result we will be getting the first name and the employee salary as a result ok execute just got it these are the employees whose salary is less than or equal to 5000 that's all about uh, xml table so x basically this xml table xml sequence and xml query are used to retrieve or read the data from the xml document and dbms underscore xml gen is the vice versa it is used to generate the xml data from the for the given input table or for the given select statement so now you can you know how to generate the xml and how to read the xml Thank you.